In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of Describe employee payroll tax withholdings. So when discussing payroll tax withholdings, we're talking about that stuff that's going to be pulled from the employee's paychecks in order to arrive at net pay. So we can go through the calculation for the payroll tax withholding and list the types of things that will be withheld for payroll taxes. So the types of things that will be withheld are the federal taxes typically are what we would focus in on, which includes FIT, federal income tax, social security, and Medicare. Those are going to be the major uh, withholdings that we will have for federal taxes. The FIT is federal income tax. That's You need to keep that separate from the employee's uh, f federal income tax, meaning uh, this is not the tax that the employee then the employer's federal income tax meaning this is not the tax that the employer is paying on net income at the end of the year it's the tax that is the responsibility of the employee it's the employer's responsibility however to make sure that uh, withholdings have been made so it's a, a little bit unusual type of situation remember that these types of taxes are withholding taxes which are taxes on the employee taxes that will be uh, in this case, federal income tax reported on the 1040 at the end of the year, meaning the employee has responsible responsibility for self-reporting taxes and paying them. However, uh, the employer has the resp responsibility of withholding a certain amount of taxes based on uh, the requirements given. So um, that's going to be the, the employer then will withhold the federal income tax based on what is on mainly the w-4 form when the employee fills out the w-4 and that's going to include we're going to have to withhold based on marital status uh income level and uh, the pay periods when we think about a, a, a pay period by period withholding so by far the federal income tax withholding is the most complex of uh the withholdings to calculate then because of those factors that we're going to need so to calculate the federal income tax withholding we would need, like we say, the marital status, we would need the um, amount, and we would need the number of allowances. Then we can look at the tables. If we go to tables that would be provided by the, by the IRS in the circular E, uh, then we can find the amount that would be withheld uh, based on the tables. If many times the, the reason would be if uh, employees have too high of wages to look up in the table, then we could use a percentage method to, fact, to uh, find the FIT federal income tax. Then we have Medicare and Social Security. Uh, the Social Security is going to be a tax that has a cap on it. So usually that's about 6.2% of wages. Wages could differ from total wages if, uh, for example, they would go down by something like a cafeteria plan. So it might be less than total earnings. Uh, given a cafeteria plan and the FIT wages by the way would be less than total earnings by possibly a cafeteria plan and a four or, or a 401k plan and a 401k plan if they had those those are options um, so the the social security then is gonna could be less by a cafeteria plan than total wages the wages we use to calculate social security and there's also a cap on it which will go up from year to year uh, it's a fairly high cap, so only the higher earners, of, you know, it's over 100000 So the higher earners would be the, the individuals that would hit that cap. Uh, otherwise, you know, they wouldn't hit the cap and it wouldn't be a problem. So 6.2% uh, typically is what uh, would then be withheld. It's a flat tax, more of a flat tax up to that cap, which means it's easy to calculate. We're not going to be looking at these tables to calculate the tax, we just have to take the Social Security wages and multiply it times the Social Security, Social Security rate of 6.2 currently. Note that there is an employer portion and employee portion of Social Security, so we don't want to get that mixed up. We're only doing half of it here, and the employer would then have to match the other half. Then we have Medicare, which uh, we, we, if we look at Medicare wages, they're pretty similar to total wages. Uh, could go down by something like a cafeteria plan, however, but there is no cap on Medicare wages. And uh, we're going to multiply Medicare wages times the percent for the employee portion, which is 0.0145, 1.45% at this time. 
Uh, note that there is an employer portion of Medicare as well, so there is a matching type of concept uh, with Medicare as well. These withholdings then would be withheld from the paycheck, so we would calculate gross pay for paychecks by having the uh, gross, or we, we would calculate net pay by starting with gross pay, subtracting out the withholdings, FIT, Social Security, Medicare, as part of the withholdings to get to the net pay check. Uh, note that these withholdings will uh, come into play, at least the federal income tax comes into play when we record our year-end um, taxes for the employees, meaning uh, the withholdings will be, will be on the 1040, and if we withheld more than the taxes we owe, then we would get a refund. The withholdings would also be reported on the W-2s, and we would also have to um, uh, report them in some ways on the uh, 941s, the quarterly tax returns. Yeah.